So the very guy that hugged little baby from the back, the billionaire, I think his name is Mike Rubin. Pretty much he's the one that on a viral picture with, uh, with little baby, pretty much when little baby's like in a reverse Oreo where he got Kyle Kuzma, got him from the front. And then, of course, Michael Rubin, the billionaire, got him from the back. Well, it looks like he's back at it again. And I will tell you this, the rappers, the gangsta street rappers might be spearheading the emasculation for the black male. And the reason I say that is because, of course, the youth does look up to them. So when they see them doing this kind of stuff, it kind of makes it easier. And, you know, it's about more normalized for them. Now, I will get into the video that Meat Mill just posted. Pretty much, buddy, trying to get him for his goodies. And I literally mean get him for his goodies. I'll let you see the video right after the intro. Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to get shout out to notification game. Keeps our game for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go to hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyway, now of course it all could be funny games, but that's just going to have to be something that you guys, the fans, are going to have to figure out and make y'all own opinion on if the, you know, talking about the billionaires are turning the gangster rappers into their boy toys, or is it all a big game just for show, potentially to promote some type of product, brand? or whatever it may be anyways so after that footage of uh you know pretty much the michael rubin billionaire guy uh you know hugging up on little baby from the back a new video meet and hill just posted all right where it looks like uh you got little baby to the left of the billionaire and you got meek mill in back of the billionaire so now i guess it ain't the reverse oreo it's kind of how the oreo goes you know the black on one side the cream in the middle and the other black on the other side well you know what I'm talking about? It looks like the middle, you know what I'm talking about? The cream was trying to get a little too close on the black Oreo. And I mean Meek Mill because you can see the billionaire kind of like reaching back on Meek Mill, getting up on his legs. And Meek Mill's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, man, I'm trying to explain. Pause the buddy because, uh, white man are a little touchy, touchy. Get up, Mike. Get up off me, dog. You heard me, Mike? Get up off me, man. Look, this man on my legs, y'all. Get this man. Man, you know. So you definitely got to understand, right? Whenever you're dealing with people who put money as God, because whether y'all know it or not, the God to most of the entertainers and especially the rappers is the money. You can hear it in the music, money over everything, this, 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 that, right? So whenever you put money as your God, if there's anybody that comes along with way, way, way more money than you, then you're ultimately going to look at that person as a God. It's kind of like how they say they made the Jesus white. So whenever you see any other white person, you look at them as God because you're idolizing this Jesus image right here. It's going to be the same thing with the money. You know what I'm talking about? It self replaced Jesus and put some money there. So anytime you see anybody with some real deal money, you might do a little extra stuff. You know what I'm talking about? You might, you know, they tell you to bunny hop. You might start bunny hopping like they want you to. You know what I'm talking about? You might do a little just, just whatever it takes because you may have it in your head that you, yourself, you're going to get to that level. Level where you're going to be able to get that much money as well. Like I say, you know, there are artists that have got to the level of making billions of dollars. Of course, Jay-Z. I don't think we've ever seen Jay-Z do any type of like super compromising sort of things. Who knows if it was behind the scenes or not. But I know it's just as far as to the world, we haven't seen that. And then, of course, you got P. Diddy, who's like a billionaire, I believe. Uh, now, I, I won't say we haven't seen him do any compromising stuff because, of course, everybody has their ideas and thoughts on that. But anyways, how how do y'all feel about this? You know what I'm talking about? Do y'all think it's just one big game and they're just playing for the internet? Or do y'all think somehow, some way, the billionaires are turning out the gangster rappers to be their boy toys? Let me know some. Coming down below, let me know what's thinking about this entire deal. I'm out.